hello everyone welcome back to this another video and today i'm going to show you uh, this position to uv node which i use in my previous tutorial so if you remember i made a tutorial about uh, recreating a dune so inside i use this tool to uh, remap some grunge texture on the surface of that cg element and i will provide the download link for you so you can download this tool and you can use in your comp as well i just want to quickly walk through and show you how you can use this tool it's it's very simple so let's jump into the basic workflow how you can apply a texture to your 3d render with this uh, positional to uv node to show you the uh, use case of this tool i have this script and this script you can find in the patreon and i just quickly want to show you the output so this is again we are recreating uh, this last of a scene and this is the reference if you remember the shot uh, so this is the shot and this is what we created in cg and in the comp as well so if I just show you uh, the raw combined version, so this is the uh, raw render which is coming from the blender and this is the comp output and you can see the difference and in this one you can clearly see the texture mapping. We are adding some texture on this wall and also on this uh, on these bricks here right and uh, the similar way you can add texture anywhere in your scene. So this tool is using position pass to apply a texture on the surface and that's how you can you know, apply a texture to any surface. You just need position pass. That's it. So this is the output and this is the entire script of this shot. In this one, I'm not going to go uh, entirely how this uh, comp is done. I just want to show you this side. So this is the building side and in here you can see there are a lot of position to UV node which is uh, done by uh, applying some texture on the wall can clearly see here so uh, let's quickly see some basic workflow so for that i will just grab yeah i will just grab this texture and all these things paste it here and also i will grab uh, the cg render also all right so now we have this let's delete everything so uh, now we have these three things so uh, this is the leakage texture obviously we need a uh, this texture to remap on this uh, wall surface or maybe here let's do it uh, for this part first so i will use this leakage texture and i have this uh, data pass so this data pass contain uh, the position pass that we needed so this is the world position pass and let's go to the rgba let's shuffle out that pass first actually we don't need to shuffle out but in this case because this is the blender render we need to shuffle out this pass and let's use this position to uv node and let's when you open the control panel let's see some parameters so it's pretty simple you just need a position pass because you shuffle out so we can select the rgba so this is our position pass now and here are some unpre and ignore everything i mean uh, if uh, there is like in this one uh, there is no alpha but if i go here we have that alpha and i don't know we don't have alpha here but if you have alpha then you can do a unpre also now uh, this is the control this is the you can see this 2d position control is here so if you move this one you can see it will change the color but uh, currently as you can see it's not doing anything uh, because i think we are viewing the alpha so let's view rgb and try to do the same again it's not doing anything let's do rgba oh i think in the shuffle uh, we are not selected any channel so let's go here select the position pass and let's connect here so now we have position path now go back to this node and now if i move you can see it's sampling the color when we move this uh, 2d position you just need to move the uh, this 2d position where you want to apply the texture so in this case i want to apply on this wall so i, so I will place it here and let's leave it for now and let's use the st map because it generates a st map so we need to use the st map transform and in this one this is our let's switch the pipe so uh, this is our st map and in the source we will add our texture and in the st map let's select the let's select the rgb and now you can see it's mapping the texture but here is one problem because uh, this is a blender render we need to shuffle out some passes to uh, get this thing work so uh, because in the blender if you are using blender you know the blender have some uh, different axis because the uh, y is z i mean y and z is reverse so to reverse this like this 
and then when we see when we just resample this thing again now you can see it's properly showing the uv map right so now when we see this thing now the texture is applying on the surface right so uh, now there is one parameter also the size so if i just reduce the size i think then i think i can see this properly so let's put this five maybe one okay i think let's increase this one and see how this thing is behaving all right i can go in the transform and i think i can scale this Uh, let's do the scale one and if I do the uniform let's see yeah now you can see the texture is scaling let me put it here yeah and you can go in the transform and let's do the y and see what will happen yeah now we have this and I think I need to do the scaling yeah you can see so I, if I reduce the scaling now you can see the texture is mapping like this we can go back to my main menu and i can move this right and i think i i also need to rotate this one so let's rotate so it's rotate and now it's behaving properly so i can map this texture on this wall if i take a one grade and just connect this one like this so this way you can just do a grading so you can use this texture to add a uh, to do the grading like this so you can see what i'm doing and here i can see this texture is now applied here right and i can go in the transform tab and again i can just rotate and scale this texture how i want and in the position also i can move this and i can add like this so for example so this is i place it this texture here and you can use this one as a mask in the grid right which i'm doing right now so you can do a little bit of uh, masking like this you have another way like you can take one merge because we have alpha so you can just just add with your this one and you can do the multiply mode and then you can just uh, plus this back like this so and then after multiplying you can add a grade and you can just uh, bright this up or you can just reduce this one so this way you have that actual color information in the texture you can see and then you can add it on top like this uh, remove this uh, uh, plant and everything so for that you can use a crypto mat so if i use a crypto mat we have some crypto mats so I can just connect to this one and I just need to select the wall so I will just select that wall and what I will do after this ST map I'm just taking one merge so here I'm just connecting to my crypto mat and I'm doing a mask operation now I have only the mask on the wall now I can do the same thing and now we have this uh, texture applied here right and I can just play around with the value and the color the gamma and everything you can see you can make a little white uh, texture like this so this is also looking pretty cool and you can go here in the transform i can move this texture along the surface so you can see i can move this one here i can rotate also here so you can see it's properly rotating i can do i can do a lot of things right so you can i can also do the scale in each axis and i can also do the overall scale so like this you can do and now i place it this patch here successfully so the similar way you can place uh, multiple patches here so in the script as well you can see uh, there are multiple texture patches right in this side and in this side and in this side and and in this side also you can see and if you combine all of them now you get uh, this kind of result and if i disable just uh, textures so this is the without texture and you can see it's looking very flat compared to this see how much uh, difference it is making so that is the power you can uh, remap the texture how you want 
use this tool and can have a pretty good result in your CG render. So as I said, I will provide this link uh, so you can download uh, this tool. This is a tool set. So you, so you need to save in your tool set menu here. So make sure you save that and you can use this uh, multiple times. So remember the steps. It will generate a HTMAP. Then you to use the HTMAP node to apply the texture on the wall and then you can manipulate how you want. For any case, if you have a texture with the color, you can, for example, I have this uh, texture. So this is like a diffuse texture or something. So you can do the same thing. And instead of this, you can just uh, directly apply this on your CG and you can, you know, play around uh, with the mask and basically you need to blend it properly. So that's how I mean, that's how you can do. So if you have a uh, if you want to add some, you know, stickers here or something, so you can use this one. So let's see. Uh, so for example, if I want, if I'm just taking a text node here, just to show you the point. And in the text node, I'm showing you, I'm just adding this uh, last of us. And let's see, uh, can we uh, apply this on the surface or not? So let's do that and Let's add a crop. So this will be pretty small texture like this. And let's do the reformat. So this is the texture we have. So let's apply uh, using the ST map and let's be aware. So now you can see it's applying properly and because we manipulate the, the scale, uh, let's do the uniform scale one, one, I guess. And now we can just change the scale and let's move this one. Now you can see this uh, last of us is properly uh, applying on the surface. I mean, this is pretty simple one. So if I move this one, maybe here, let's see, are we getting it? Yeah, let's disable this one. So now see it is applying here also, but you can see it's applying multiple times. And this is because we have this position pass is the overall position path, right? We have, that's why I think it's uh, applying on the, all the surfaces. But that's not the point. The point is we have that mat, right? So for example, I'm just clearing this one, just picking this mat here and now I'm done. So I can just enable this one now. Now this will only stick to the surface. So you can easily add some, uh, you know, uh, stickers, some labels and anything you can. See, now it's properly wrapping on the surface here. Here, here, see that is pretty cool, right? So, use this tool and let me know your feedback. I will try to improve this tool as much as I can. And this is it. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure you download entire project file link in the down below. This is the uh, last of us scene, so you can have that project file in the Patreon. So, you can grab this project file from the Patreon link in the down description. So, make sure you go and grab this file. And uh, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. And please let me know in the comment your tutorial request. I try my best to provide you the solution. This is it. We will see you in our very next one.